So, starting to heat up um, the hot plate. Um, the three temperatures, as you see, one, two, and three. Uh, one and two are the couplers here on uh, this aluminum plate, um, which is used as a, a heat accumulator. Um, the third temperature sensor is uh, located on, um, on the copper heat spreader that we will uh, move um, to the hot plate uh, once, it's, uh, once it's warm enough. Um, trying to get uh, up to around uh, 200, 210 degrees uh, Celsius. Um, the solder we're using is, um, is normal leaded uh, solder. Um, this is uh, this is the type. I'm not sure if it's uh, if it's visible. It's um, SN60 PB40, so 40% uh, uh, lead. Um, I cut a piece of around uh, 75 millimeter of that uh, solder wire and uh, formed it uh, as uh, W6PQL Jim shows in his videos. I found that uh, to work uh, very well. Um, <coughs> the, um, the heater is um, is coming up now. Yeah, sorry, I, I was uh, mistaken before. Uh, one and two are here, of course. Those are the temperature sensors on the uh, aluminum uh, accumulator. Um, T3, which is uh, the temperature on the on the copper. Um, this will take um, this will take quite some time to reach around 200 degrees. So I will um, I will pause uh, the video uh, for now, and then I will return once uh, once the temperature has gotten a bit higher. So. We're back again, and now you can see the temperature is uh, between 180 and 200 degrees Celsius on the two sensors. Um, this one is, is the lower one, and I think it's due to the gap we have here in, in, the, in the aluminum uh, accumulator. Um, this one is, is the higher one, 203 degrees. So to prepare, um, I will uh, take one of the uh, LDMOS transistors out. Um, this is a um, the amplifier is a um, it's a W6 PQL um, 23 centimeter amplifier um, a 600 watt and I will start by adding a small amount of, uh, of flux to the transistor and just you see the temperature is, is uh, close to uh, 220 now so that's more than enough and one thing we need to be very careful about here is that uh, we install the transistor the right way. Um, I made two small marks uh, on the copper heat spreader so that I will center the transistor and the taps between. So we're now 220 degrees and I will uh, carefully lift um, the copper spreader to the aluminum accumulator and um, be careful because uh, everything is, is very very hot so um, be careful with your hands and uh, and everything that can come in contact with it um, now you see the temperature slowly rising on um, on the copper spreader the around 85 degrees so it heats up now um, once we reach around 180 degrees Celsius, uh, you will see the, the solder begin to melt. And once that happens, uh, we need to 
do a little wiggle on the, on the transistor to um, to spread out the, the solder uh, evenly uh, below it. Um, yeah, let's and again check the placement that you got the drain on the right side on the output side and so on because it's yeah it would be um, it would be a little bit bad if you needed to unsolder the new LD MOS uh, just to swap swap it around uh, on the gate and drain. So now we are closing up on um, when the solder was, uh, will will you know flow. 155, 156 degrees on the copper spreader, and um, shortly you will see the the solder begin to melt, and the transistor will will set down on uh, on the copper spreader. Yeah, that happened there. So we just give the transistor a little wiggle, and we make sure that it is centered. You can't see it, but uh, there are two small marks on the copper spreader. Um, you see the temperature is now 170 degrees. Yeah, this is a perfect 174. And um, switch off uh, the heating plate and gently, very gently, not to disturb the LD MOS, you move the copper spreader away from the heating source. We check once again that everything looks uh, nice and uh, and smooth. We put the temperature sensor on again and now starts. Uh, the cooling process, um, you can see on the temperature sensor, um, this is the copper 125 degrees, so it slowly goes down. Generally, the, you want you want the temperature to to go down, not extremely quick, but but pretty quick. Um, this is around one degree Celsius per second plus minus and this is okay um, for for what we're doing here but again uh, keep your hands off because it's um, it's extremely hot everywhere so this will just um, I'll just let this one uh, cool down and uh, then I will uh, mount um, mount the next one, uh, the next LDMOS on a new uh, copper spreader. So, um, the first module is uh, done. I have just uh, mounted um, the PCBs uh, on the board. Uh, not sold at the, the LDMOS yet, uh, the drain on the gates. Um, so now I'm going to uh, to do the next one. Um, currently waiting for the the hot plate or the aluminum accumulator to get up to temperature around uh, 200 degrees. Um, <clears throat> right now we are at uh, 188, 171 on the two sensors. Um, and um, yeah, I just uh, switched on the heating plate. It was actually off for like 10 minutes while I was uh, mounting the PCBs on the first one. And um, it takes a little while for it to get up uh, into temperature again. Um, yeah, now slowly crawling. I'll just um, I'll just pause the video again and then uh, continue once uh, once the temperature is a bit uh, higher again. So now we are again here four or five minutes uh, later, and uh, the aluminum is uh, close to two hundred degrees. So I will uh, prepare the next uh, LDMOS. 
Um, again, making absolutely sure that we um, we mount it the right way um, on the copper spreader, so that the drain goes to the drain side and the gate goes to the gate side. Um, I put a little bit of um, of flux on the transistor again. And again, um, I have around um, seven seventy millimeters or seven centimeters of uh, of solder, placing it accurately. And you see the temperature is now two hundred and eight degrees, so that's uh, more than enough. Carefully put uh, the copper spreader. And making sure again that uh, that the LD MOS sits uh, right in um, in the trench. Um, the temperature coming up uh, slowly on the cover, 81, 82 degrees Celsius, and again around uh, 170, 180 degrees, uh, the solar will start to to flow. And again, we check orientation. This is the output side of the PA, and we can see the drain is um, is pointing the right way. Um, double check um, with one of the pictures from uh, W6PQL. You see the the notch goes to the output, so it should be um, should be pretty good. Um, now 143 degrees Celsius, so very shortly you will see um, the LD MOS uh, going down to uh, to the surface of the copper once the, the solar melts. Um, again, this is um, reflow soldering uh, LD MOS like this is a perfectly uh, valid way of, of mounting uh, transistors. Um, it is even shown in uh, in one of NXP's application notes, uh, AN1908, uh, I think it is, where they describe the process. So nothing uh, nothing suspicious or or anything about this uh, process. Um, now we see the solder is almost melting. 170 degrees. So now we are very close to reflow. And there we go. You see it sits down. Again, we do a small uh, wiggle. And we make absolutely sure that um, that the LD must uh, sit uh, right where it should. Um, I have two small marks in the copper, and this looks uh, fine. We're now at 180 degrees, and um, we switch off the hot plate. Um, and again, be extremely careful when lifting. Um, you don't want to disturb the LD MOS, and you certainly don't want to. <laughs> you don't want to touch. You don't want to touch anything, just like I did with my finger. Nothing happened, but um, yeah, it's it's pretty warm. So <clears throat> now the the cooling starts. We had 150 degrees Celsius, 149, 47, 146, and so on, and uh, it will slowly go down. And that's um, that's basically it. Um, and next on is uh, mounting uh, the PCBs on the second uh, copper spreader, and then it's uh, it's go time with some uh, with some power.